If you want, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is going to be a new half half video wear test where I review, compare, and just show you how these lipsticks wear throughout the day. So I'm going to be wearing two of the Maybelline lipsticks. So we have the Super State Matte Ink and then we have the Super State Ink Crayon. These are some of my favorite lipsticks at the drugstore. Straight up Maybelline just can't do anything bad with their lipsticks, clearly. So I wanted to just show you how they wear. I've done three lip swatch videos on these because they came out with more and then I just did a lip swatch video on these so I will link everything down below but I wanted to just show you how they were throughout the day so we're doing this comparing them I was in a fall mood hands the Harry Potter shirt which you can't see it's all it's glory there it is fall Harry Potter back to school kind of works in my head so I tried to find shades that would be somewhat fall ish and I'm gonna try to find something that is the closest possible to this one so I don't look too crazy today because I do have to get out of the house so honestly people don't look at you that much so uh, I'm gonna swatch these and then see if I can find something similar but these one are definitely much newer they came out this summer and they are like a traditional lipstick formula in a pencil form which means that you can actually uh, line your lips with it if you have smaller lips or sharp cupid's bow or anything these are very easy to use for that but the formula lasts really really well throughout the day you're gonna see that and eventually they barely transfer so obviously it must have and then these are liquid lipsticks which i'm just gonna swatch two to try and find the closest color <laughs> this might be a bit dark damn it they're not close enough maybe the first and the last one I'm gonna see if I have anything closer, but essentially these are amazing because obviously they're a liquid lipstick, you apply them, and then you apply the thinnest amount possible, by the way, otherwise they will be a little sticky because this formula is not drying, which so many liquid lipsticks give you that, you know, <laughs> feeling on the lips, but these will last all day, and I mean all day, and you will need, for sure, like really need uh, oil to remove it or anything that is waterproof. Personally, I use something like the uh, Garnier, the blue cap bottle one, works perfectly, it's affordable, but yeah, otherwise you're gonna sleep with this and wear it for next week. Well, I guess I'm gonna look a little crazy. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. So let's apply this one. This is the color number 20, enjoy the view. I love that color. You can see like I, it just glides on full pigmentation. I'm still struggling with my mouth. For anyone who doesn't know, I had surgery and I can't feel most of my mouth still. So I feel applying lipstick is kind of hard. The hardest part is to just stop in the middle. So that part, you saw how nicely it applied. Now let's try, we're gonna go with I prefer this color, so we're gonna go with this one. This one is uh, Self Starter. <laughs> Again, this is the applicator. This one smells like cake, by the way. I don't know why I'm making my life more difficult. My mirror is so far away, but actually that far so I feel like unless someone is really staring at me we're gonna be good I'm gonna give them like an hour or something just to set in place it doesn't actually need an hour I just want to make sure that whenever I do the transfer test there's nothing too crazy going on I'll drink water or anything and then I'll come uh, make sure to come before I eat a meal then after a meal you get it you're gonna see how these wear for at least eight hours so Okay, so I've been wearing the lipstick for about half an hour and I wanted to show you the transfer now that they had have uh, they had time <laughs> to dry a little bit before I go eat. I mean, right there, I think I sold them, right? Do I even need to continue this video? Like, how? That's all I have to say. <laughs> I'm gonna go eat now. I'll see you later. So life happened. <laughs> I completely forgot I was doing this video. So the good news is I didn't feel the lipstick much and uh, they are both long wearing lipsticks. So the review is not ruined. Uh, it's been almost nine hours, like eight and a half hours. So um, <laughs> let's talk about the lipsticks. There, from closer you can see it better. This one obviously stayed on better. It is a pure magical liquid lipstick. But this one, considering that I've had, you know, a bunch of food, of water, everything, it's still 
there. Obviously it disappeared on the inside a bit, but it's not that bad. I feel like if I rubbed my lip properly together, it probably would kind of fix it. It would be very easy to touch it up. And it is one of the lightest shade too, so the darker ones will definitely leave more of a stain than this one. But it didn't start, you know, accumulating into any lines or started looking dry. It's very, very easy also to remove because I'll remove it with a makeup wipe. This is what kind of what I liked about these ones is that they last really well throughout the day. Plus, they're very easy to remove, which this one is a pain in the butt to remove. But, like when I was saying you could sleep with that thing, it's true. You can literally pretend to be a mermaid and go swim for hours and it will still be there. So it really depends on your needs. Personally, I like both of them. I will continue to wear all of the ones that I have. But let me, actually, let's do one more kiss hand test. That's the side that's transferring a little bit, which again, makes sense. This one is still going so strong. <laughs> this is why I'm always raving about these ones, but these are just very, very comfortable. And again, let's show you how easy they are to remove. I don't understand this magic. How can this thing stay on my lips for hours, yet be so easy to remove with just a makeup wipe? You're a wizard, Ari. Uh, and then if I try to remove the other one, because let's torture myself. Ah, ah, kinda. If you try to remove these right after applying them, they don't move. I feel like throughout the day, you know, oil, saliva, and everything starts helping it a little bit, but you can still see that it's mostly still there. Like you're removing some, but there's still so much left. This is why when I did those lip swatch videos, it was pure torture. I had my Garnier blue cap thing, which I don't know what I did with it because I still have some, but I moved everything, right? And uh, I don't know where it is. And the other ones I've been testing are not cutting it. But I'm kind of giving up right now. <laughs> this is it. My lips are like that forever now. The worst part is I can't feel my teeth. So I'm like pushing on them and it feels very weird just doing this. <laughs> but I wanted to show you what would happen if you forget, you know, your makeup remover. You have to rub quite a bit to get them removed. And even then you're probably still going to have some all over your face. So... <laughs> So, so. Essentially, this video was to say that both of these lipsticks are huge thumbs ups for me. They're just amazing. Uh, this is gonna be in my best of the year. I'm already telling you. This one, I believe, didn't, didn't they come out with new shades this year? I think so. Some of the shades came out in January. So maybe both of these range will be in my best of the year because they're just fantastic. You can't go wrong. They have so many shades. This one, they came out with 12 shades. And like I said, I did do a lip swatch video on them. Usually, they tend to bring out a range of color. Usually, it is 12 shades too. And then when it does well, they bring out more. That's what they did with this one. So there's like 36 shades now. I'm hoping they're going to do the same thing with this one because they're just really, really nice. I enjoy them. I highly recommend them. Good. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I will link down below the playlist of all my half half reviews if you are looking for more wear test. And uh, yeah, thumbs up, subscribe, putting some more videos on the screen, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.